So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Broken arm! Broken arm! Broken arm! Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Our video today is a bit unorthodox, but it does take us to Lansing, Michigan, where old Stevie Boy resides. Oh, I guess he got tired of people reporting his channel, and it appears as though he's made all of his videos on the site private. I'm going to tell everyone exactly what that's going to do to his channel, so stay tuned and enjoy! Oh, dearie me, Stevie Boy got sick and tired of people complaining about his channel, so apparently he has made his entire channel private. Well, what he doesn't realize, though, is that people can still complain about his videos, even though that they're private. And so that's not going to really solve anything right now. The only way to solve that is to take the video down take out the profanity and re-upload it. I think what he doesn't realize as well is once you make your channel private and the videos are no longer able to be viewed by the public, that is going to throw off your algorithm on YouTube. The videos will no longer be promoted and you'll be starting from scratch once you go ahead and make those videos public once again. So he screwed himself royally. Uh, a lot of guys don't know what that algorithm is all about on YouTube, but unfortunately, Spanky Pants is going to learn the hard way. Oh, Spanky Pants, what are we going to do with you? Well, there you have it, folks. This is proof positive that reporting in mass quantity, if you will, definitely has an effect upon a creator's channel. We're not trying to take the channel down. We're just trying to get him to realize he needs to change his ways. Once his channel comes back up, I certainly hope that he watches his language and I hope that he talks just a little bit better to women out there. It's one thing to talk that way to a man, but it's completely uncalled for to talk like that to a woman. How were you raised? In a barn with goats? Maybe the goat herder raised you. At any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that!